Okay, morning everyone. Let's get started up onto our feet for the warm up. Good job. So let's just find base. Let's just find that grounding. Just a gentle lift of the toes and the heels and rocking backwards and forwards just to find that center point of balance. Slow it down and find that center. Imagine that piece pulling of strengthening you up nice and tall, lengthening right the way through the spine. And we're going to start with shoulder rolls, nice and slow. Nice and controlled, just taking the shoulders forward, up and back and really think about taking them around as far as you can, just in the sockets here to start with. Then we're going to bring the elbows in as well, but keep it nice and slow and steady. Good job. And then making it a little bit bigger as we start to open up right the way through the shoulders, the neck and the top of the arms. And finally into full circles, soften the knees for the full circles. Last one here and relax back down and the other way, starting small. Think about how far round you can take the shoulders just in this position. Stretching round, good, good job. Then bringing the elbows in as well. There we go. Bigger and bigger. Keeping the hands parallel so that they're moving both parts of the sides of the body at the same time, working the muscles at the same rate. Good job. Stretch and reach one last time. Up and down and relax here. Good job. Moving down to the legs now. We're going to step one foot forward and one foot back. We're going to bend into the front leg hands onto the thighs and stretch through. So front knee bent, back heel glued to the floor. So we're pulling away from the back heel and feeling that lovely stretch up the calf. Try not to lean forward with this one. Keep the upper body back nice and straight. It can come forward, but don't lean down. Hold that stretch through. And then release and switch legs. Bring the other leg forward, stretch and hold. We're stretching through the back of the calf, right the way up the legs, and we're just starting to wake up those hip flexors we're gonna work out later as well. And return. Now we're coming out to the side. Step out to the side, bend the knee on one side, hands on the hips this time. Again, keeping the upper body nice and tall and lengthened and bend through to stretch right the way down through the inside of the leg this time. And back to center and over to the other side. And back to center, good job. Then we're moving into the side bend. So the feet are coming back to hip distance and the arm is coming up and over into that side bend. Extend and lengthen in the middle and the same on the other side, up and over. Keeping it nice and tight, try not to stretch and twist over the body, just over the top. Extend and lengthen, one more on each side. Extend and lengthen, last one here. 
stretch and relax the arms down and grab your tin cans now ready to work out those arms and upper body good job so we're going to start with a bicep curl just gently tucking the elbows in towards the body just for a little bit of support knees are nice and soft feet nice and grounded and gently bring the cans down from in front up to the shoulders and back down now remember to control the lift and the lower so engage the arm muscles coming up and keep them engaged as we come back down keep that control keep those muscles switched on to work out throughout the exercise good job one more here and return good job bring the cans in front of you now make sure those shoulders are relaxed and down neck nice and lengthened and we're bringing the arms out to the side lift and lower but again control that lower and squeeze the cans towards each other lift and lower so that engagement that squeeze as we come down is working those muscles right the way through from the wrists up to the shoulders in that drawing in motion good job up and lower and squeeze good job two more here this time let's hold it up and just hold for a moment if you can again make sure the shoulders are relaxed and down the neck is relaxed just hold it for a moment and lower and squeeze good job now we come into the front so we're bringing the arms up to shoulder height and then we're letting them come behind and that double pulse 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 and forward and again pulse pulse and forward so again we're using our muscles to push the cans behind us switching on the muscles all the way up the front and as we lift we're using the muscles at the back of the arm good job good job one more here this time with the arms staying extended to shoulder height we're going to curl them in by turning the cans upright keeping the elbows extended bring them to the shoulders and out again just take your time to make sure that both of the arms are working together at the same time there's always one side stronger than the other but it's really important to try and work on that balance and try and work out both sides equally and to strengthen both pairs of muscles well done last one here and release and now we're coming down into our squat so the arms come forward the bottom goes out behind you and up same again bottom out back nice and straight core engaged lengthen through let the head lower just between the arms make the neck nice and straight with the spine and again push through the feet hold that squat for a little bit if you can and again push and lengthen through the arms to hold those hands in place and lower two more here if you can down and up last one down and up good job so we're going to move to the use the cans now just for our balance okay so we're moving into our balance here so we're going to start by stepping forward with one foot and placing all the weight onto the supporting foot. The knee is gently softened, toes spread nice and wide. Bring the other foot behind and just balance the toe to start with. We're going to extend and lengthen the back leg away as we bring the cans forward of the body. We're going to lengthen through that back leg. 
So just make sure as you bring the leg back, depending on how far you want to bring it up, don't let the hip twist here. So just extend the length and the leg straight back from hip height. Don't let it twist to open up further. And hold it here. If you find the balance a challenge, just bring the toes down, reset, go again and hold it a little bit longer this time. Just work to your level. If you're finding it nice and easy, what you can do is bring these hands now and extend the arms up and reach them up above you. I'm going to bring it up so you can see the top view. So you can bring the hands up for that hold. Again, keeping those hips straight so you don't twist the lower spine. Same on the other side, just transfer the weight to the other foot. Find your balance position first, extend and lengthen, and hold it here. That's absolutely fine. If you want more of a challenge, then you can lengthen and stretch right the way through the body, make that lovely straight line. But again, don't let that hip twist and open. Keep those hips parallel. Lower the cans down. Good job. Bring them down to the floor just in front of you. And we're just going to move through that foot stretch. So we gently roll one foot right the way from the toes. Really concentrate to get the toes wrapped around it. And then release the toes and gently roll forward and then lift at the end as we're on the heel. And then push back through. Takes a bit of control. If it's a little bit slippery on the carpet, pop it on your mat to give you a little bit more support there. Just have a little bit of fun with it. Just try and push through, release all the pressure points in the bottom of the foot. And just enjoy that stretch through. Good job. Transfer to the other side. Other foot, toes on first. Push through the bottom of the foot. Heel, lift at the end, turn the toes up and back and forward and lift back. Last one here. Good job, well done. So we're going to move the cans over to one side, we won't need them now. And we're going to come and we're going to do our roll down and roll up. Enjoy them. We're just going to do the one full roll down and back up. And then we're coming down onto the mat. Okay. So come into the end of your mat. Ready to roll down. Feet to hip distance. Shoulders back and down. Neck lengthened up and away. Deep breath in. Engage the core, engage the pelvic floor. Exhale, chin to chest and roll the shoulders forward. Nice and slowly, nice and carefully. Just enjoy this lovely wake up roll down. Relax the arms and let them hang freely. Relax the head and let it hang also. Enjoy that lovely stretch all the way up the back of the calves, over the hips and right the way down the spine. And then when you are ready, breath in, engage, and restack that spine one vertebrae at a time like building blocks. Taking your time. Roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the neck, up and away. And again, breath in, engage, exhale, chin to chest, shoulders forward, and slowly roll down. Good job. This time we're going to bring the hands down to the mat. We're going to bring the knees down. We're going to walk forward and we're in that nice flat backed position. Let's do a little quick cat stretch here. So just lower the head and push the spine up towards the ceiling. Arch and release. And then back to flat back. Really focus on coming back to that lovely flat level back. Push the hips away behind you, push the top of the head and lengthen in front of you. 
And again, breath in, exhale, cat stretch, tuck the head in, push the spine up towards the ceiling, and then lowering and lengthening into that lovely flat back. Good job. Sitting back now, and then we're going to move down onto the floor, ready for our setup down on the mat. Good job. So from here, we're going to start with that pelvis st stabilization. So we're just going to set up that pelvis and find that neutral spine. So we're going to gently rock just the pelvis backwards and forwards, pushing the spine down into the mat and then allowing it to arch and peel away. And then again, pushing it down and arching away. So I want you to imagine that the pelvis is a compass and it won't work unless it's nice and level. So we don't want it pointing north or dipping south. Imagine that compass on the tummy. We need to slow down those rocks until the tummy is nice and flat and level. And the spine will then be in neutral, so halfway between flat on the mat and fully arched. Just a gentle curve, ready to go. Shoulders now. Breath in and draw them up, tuck them up to the ears as tight as they'll come. And then exhale, and I want you to slide them down the back, lengthen them all the way down the back. Imagine you're pushing them down towards your back jean pockets, and then relax there to hold them in place. Good job, really important to bring those shoulders down and relax there. Excellent. From there, we're going to switch on the transverse abdominals. So we're going to need these today, we're going to work them out. So to do that, I want you to imagine you're pulling on the tightest pair of jeans. We're going to do up the button by just gently drawing the belly button in towards the spine and holding it there. And draw it in all the way to notch number 10 on the tightest belt. Squeeze the belly button in towards the spine and hold it there at notch number 10. You can still breathe, hopefully. Try and relax the breath and just hold that belly button drawn in as tight as you can get it. And then relax, Whew. halfway this time. Let's try notch number five on the belt, squeeze and hold, not so tight this time. Hold it there and relax. And finally, much more achievable, gentle squeeze, just a level three on the belt and hold it there. And that's the hold that we want to use while we're exercising. We need to get that pelvic floor involved as well. So as we zip up the jeans, I want you to zip up inside. I want you to zip up to level 10. Squeeze that pelvic floor, squeeze those muscles inside all the way up to level 10, as tight as they'll go and hold it there. And relax. Level five this time, halfway, a gentle squeeze. And relax. And finally, level three, just a gentle squeeze and hold. And those two muscles, the belt done up, the zip done up, and we're ready to exercise. Okay, so we're going to move straight into our single leg lift from here. So we're going to bring one leg up to right angled knee. So the knee is directly above the hip, the shin is parallel, the foot is relaxed. The other leg is supporting at hip distance. It must stay absolutely still here. Keep that supporting leg as your anchor, don't let it move. From here, breath in, engage, exhale, lengthen and extend and return. So we're lengthening, so it goes up parallel with the other thigh and then we're controlling and returning to that right angled knee. And this is all about control and precision. As we wake up through those lower abdominals, through the lower spine. Same again. Lengthen. And lower. Lengthen. And lower. Now, if you're happy here with the lengthen and lower, that's absolutely fine. Carry on. If you want to, we're going to move down into the toe dip. So we keep the right angle in the knee and we gently lower the foot towards the floor. 
and then draw it back in just to hip height. Don't let it come too far into the body. And again, so start lowering just a little way at a time and then draw it back to the right angle. And then you can challenge yourself to lower it a little bit further. But don't forget those little moves at the beginning because they're going to work the lower abdominals first. And as the leg lowers further down, it's going to start to switch on more of the upper abdominals. But don't forget to work those lower ones first. Lower and lift. Nice and controlled, nice and precise. If you are heading down towards the mat, the toe never touches the floor. It only ever hovers just above. Okay, and then this time allow it to lower all the way to the mat as we transfer to the other leg. Make sure that you're set up your back to that squared off position and the feet are back to parallel before you move to engage the other leg. So breath in, engage, and bring the other leg up to right angles. So start with the extension, the extension first. Just extend and lengthen so that both thighs are parallel and then return to right angles. And again, extend and lengthen. So it's important that you stretch through, point that toe as you're extending to switch on all the leg muscles to get the maximum effort. And also you need to keep those muscles switched on to be able to control the placement back to right angle. One more here in extension. As I say, you can stay with that single leg extension if you're happy. If you want to, you can gently lower, keeping that right angle bend and lift, nice and slowly, nice and controlled. Start small and then build it up. Lower and lift. Make sure that the shoulders are still relaxed, the neck is still relaxed. It's all about the abdominals, the core support, and the leg work here. One more here. Bring it all the way up. And then lower it nice and slowly to the floor. Good job. Bring the knees into the chest for a little squeeze and we're just going to hold them there for a moment before we move into the next exercise. So from here we're going to keep the same positioning, feet back down, feet to hip distance and we're going to work on single leg circles now. So we've got the setup up nicely, make sure the spine is still in neutral, shoulders are still relaxed and down. And we're going to bring the leg up and if you can lengthen and extend so you've got that nice straight leg the same exercise if that doesn't work for you works with the bent knee with the fingers on top of the knee and we're circling here so this would be your level one okay next level extend and lengthen point that toe out diagonally away from you imagine that there's a little pencil on your toe and extending nice and long and keeping it that way, we're going to gently circle. But our circle is no bigger than a dinner plate. Nice and small and controlled. So you can feel how that hard that hip flex is going to have to work to control that circular motion nice and slowly. Don't take the leg out too far. Just small circles. Again, if it's too much with the leg extended, just work with the leg bent. And in the opposite direction. Nice and slow. Lengthen that leg. Keep it small. Support that lower back in neutral with that pelvic floor engagement and that tummy drawn in. Hold it there. Draw it back to right angles first and then lower to the floor as we switch over to the other side. So either bent knee, and if you want to, you can add the fingertip on top just to help build that control and precision, or you can move to the leg extension and circle. Small and precise.
Keep that core engagement, keep that spine in neutral. Don't let the spine arch away from the mat here. Keep it controlled and that will support the lower spine and really strengthen those lumbar muscles. Hold it here and circle in the other direction. Use the breath to help you control. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And then bring the knee into bent knee, lower it down and just hold it here. We're gonna release stretch with a little lift of the pelvis here. So just relax through the shoulders and through the neck. And we're just gonna work on a gentle pelvic lift. It's a little bit like the start of our bridge, but rather than the curl at motion, we're gonna work on a push the hips up and down. It's quite a small motion here though. So a gentle lift of the hips up, pushing them up and lowering down again. So it's just a little lift of the hips up and lower. And again, push and lower, lift and lower. So we're focusing here on keeping that imaginary um, uh, spirit level across the hips, keeping them nice and level, pushing directly up from the hips, just a little way, and then control the lower without letting the hips tilt one side to the other. And again, just a little pelvic tilt, and lower and again push and lower last one there we're going to have a break well done legs extended nice and long arms extended nice and long above us stretch reach and relax here for a moment well done lots of work well done really really nice great core strengthening Brilliant work to support and build the strength in the muscles of the lower back. Really, really good effort. Well done. Once you've had a little stretch there for a moment, draw the hands over. And then we're gonna gently bring ourselves up onto our side. And we're gonna work on our side bend. I know they're your favorite. So for the side bend, lots of important things to think about. As with always, make sure you're in a nice straight line to start with, there's no twist. So the feet are in line with the spine. So if you look down from your spine, you can see the feet and then the knees are bending forward of you there. Okay, we're coming up onto the shoulder for these ones. So again, make sure that the elbow is directly underneath the shoulder, the forehand is nice and long. The spine is nice and lengthened throughout, okay? Now, level one, you can work with both of the knees bent and both together. So I'll show you this one. The main thing with side bends to always remember is that you are lifting from the waistband. So imagine that there is a hoist around your middle and then it's going to lift from that waistband. Try not to push up from the hips, it's harder and you get more of a twist action. So your level one, hand plays down, is a gentle lift of the hips up off the floor, nice and straight up, and bringing it down again. And the same, engage, lift those hips. It's only a small lift, hold, and lower. Your next level option is taking this top leg, lifting, placing the foot and tucking it into the other ankle here. Same action, it's just with the knee lifted, it gives you a little bit more room to move. So choose the level that works for you. Remember, extend and lengthen nice and tall. Try and relax the neck and the shoulders. Breath in, engage, lift from that waistband. Gentle lift and lower. Okay, carry on in your own time. Engage, lift and lower. If you need to, the front hand can stay on the floor, but try not to tip 
the bottom back away from the hands. So try and let the hips lift and lower. And when you're ready for that top hand to just gently come with you, so it's not restricting the movement. Engage, lift and lower. One more here and then we're done here. Lift and lower. Well done. Come to seated and shake it out. Take the arm out. All the pressure out through the shoulders. Well done. But it's important that we put the weight through that arm. As you know, we need some weight bearing exercise. We need it to be nice and supported and nice and balanced. And that lovely waist lift there as we're working, we're working these lovely oblique muscles down the side, these waist muscles. We're working them, strengthening them and bringing them in as we go, if we're really lucky. Excellent. So we're going to come onto our tummy now for swimming and then we'll do the side bend on the other side in a moment. So when you're ready, coming over onto all fours and make sure you've got that nice positioning first. The knees are at hip distance. The feet are nice and relaxed straight behind. Make sure the wrists are directly underneath the shoulders and then remember about that spine. So we don't want any sagging backs here. We don't want any arched backs. We're going to lengthen through the spine. Push the hips out behind you push the top of the head forward, extend all the way from the tailbone to the top of the head, lengthen and find that lovely flat back, straight engagement. Breath in, engage the core to support and hold you there, but relax the neck and shoulders. So we're going to start with just the leg extensions. Gently transfer the weight to three points and gently lift one knee from the floor. But the hips need to stay parallel as we gently draw the foot out behind us, extend nice and long, straight from that hip socket. Extend and hold it there. That's your level one. If you want to, your level two is gently lift and lengthen. But again, these hips have to stay parallel. I want you to imagine that there's a tray of gin and tonics on your back. I don't want a single drop spilt. Lower the toe if it's up and then draw it back in place it back down, and there shouldn't be a big transfer of weight, a big tilt of the hips. You should be able to keep them parallel as you build the strength in the exercise. Don't worry if there's a bit of a tilt to start with. Then again, gently lengthen and extend. And then you can just draw that back in for that level one, or you can gently lift and extend and just fight that hip to keep it still, keep it level. Don't let it lift and tilt here. And then when you're ready, lower down to the floor and draw it back in, placing it back under. Same again on either side. Let's work with just the leg. Really focus on keeping those hips absolutely still. Keep that torso absolutely fixed. That's our anchor. That's going to keep those gin and tonics safe. Slowly lower and return same on the other side breath in engage exhale to lift and extend lower and return good job hold that positioning as we move into that hands we keep that core engagement ready to go breath in engage lengthen and reach so here the temptation we need to reach the fingers we need to stretch and extend and the temptation is to drop that shoulder as you do so. Keep the shoulder in place, just extend the muscles. And if you want to, you can lift and extend to just below the ear and then place it back down on the mat and draw it back in. But don't rush too far too soon. So your level one is simply extend, lengthen, return, place it back down, okay? Build up the strength in the body, build up that resilience before you move to that length and extent. As the arm is lifted and move to that one, the lower spine will be tempted to sag. Don't let it, keep it extended. And your final challenge here, if you want to, 
is opposite arm and leg. But again, take it slowly, take it control, draw it out, extend. And level one, just draw it back in. Good job. And your level two, draw out, extend when you're nice and still, nice and stable, control, lengthen, and lower, keeping that spine in neutral. And return. A few more here at whichever level you choose. Just really focus here. Amazing control, amazing work to strengthen the core and also the arms and the legs. One more here. Good job. Now we're coming down onto our side to do our side bend on the other side. Either just flip straight over or change ends on the mat. So alignment first. Feet in line with the spine, spine nice and straight, elbow directly underneath the shoulder, neck lengthened, torso lifted and engaged. Place the front hand down, those fingertips on the floor. So either with both knees bent, your level one, remember you're lifting from that hoist from the waistband here. Breath in, engage, relax through the shoulders to allow you to move, gentle lift and lower. But remember it's not lift and roll forward. Those hips are going straight up to the sky and lower. If you want to, tuck that top foot into the ankle below, open up that top knee, and then lift and lower. You can go further, and you can carry a little bit more of the weight and extend. Good job. Choose your level and work. As I said before, the fingertips can stay on the floor and the lift can stay nice and low. And as you build your confidence, the fingertips can just gently come with you and lower. Try and relax the neck, try and relax the shoulders. One more here if you can. Lift and lower. Well done. Coming off, shaking it all out. Well done. Stretch the neck out, roll the shoulders. Good effort, excellent. So from here, we're gonna to come to our roll up. So we're coming to a seated position towards the end of the mat. Just gonna bring the camera up. Good job. Sitting up nice and tall. We're just going to relax. We're just going to mobilize the spine. We're just going to work a little bit more on that freedom of the spine to move. Feet are at hip distance. We're sitting up nice and tall. Make sure you're sitting on your sitting bones. And level one, pop the hands behind the knees and place them there just gently to hold on. Breath in, engage. Tilt the pelvis back. And then we're slowly going to roll back. We're going to lay back into our deck chair and relax there. Well, everything can relax except the abdominals. They're engaged, they're strong, they're going to stay there, and then they're going to squeeze the ribs towards the hips to draw us back up to sitting nice and tall. Your level two is your hands over to the sides, a couple of inches away from the legs, and allow the body to really flow and roll back. So keep the gentle curve in the neck, keep the eyes looking forward and hold it. Then it's a breath in and then all that focus is on those abs, drawing ribs to hips, squeeze. We're sitting up nice and tall and relax again before we go again. Breath in, engage, tilt and roll back. Now it's up to you how far you go, but again, it's important to do the lower levels first, to work the lower abdominals and then come further back to increase the range and the amount of muscles that we work. Okay, so choose 
your level. Really use the breath for this one. So inhale to prepare, exhale to curl and roll back into that deck chair. Inhale while we hold and exhale while we draw back up, sitting up nice and tall. One more here, nice and long, nice and low if you can and hold. Breath in, engage, draw back up, sitting nice and tall. Now if you're happy those rolls carry on, if you want to take it down onto the mat this time, then gently curl, 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 bring it down, extend and lengthen the arms up over the body, relax there just for a moment, then breath in. Exhale, bring them up over the head, allow the chin to curl, and then ribs to hips, squeeze those abs to bring you back up to sitting. And again. Now if you find the roll up from the mat still challenging, then keep working, rolling up from the top, but you can use a little bit of moral support. So you can bring the arms down to the mat, you can use the abs, but you can keep the hands there, and the elbows to give you a little bit of a push while you're just finding your way with this exercise, okay? So you can use the arms there. Just make sure you don't push with one arm more than the other. Make sure the abs are doing most of the work, but there can be a little bit of support from the hands while you're finding your way. Okay, curl and roll. Chin to the chest, sitting up nice and tall. Last time we're going to bring it down to the floor, so curl down and stay down here. And we're gently going to work and move straight into the opposite action for our very last exercise, I promise. And we're gently going to move into the 100. I'll show you your different levels, okay? So breath in, engage, make sure that spine is in neutral, really important for this exercise, okay? And gently curling up the head, the neck and the shoulders. And you might find for the level one, you just gently want to work on curling up, looking through the knees and then relaxing back down, but keeping the core engaged until the head is back down. And working on that prep exercise, chin to the chest, gently looking through, breath, and lower. If you're familiar, then this time we're going to come up, curl, and the shoulders are going to round. The elbows stay nice and soft, don't stretch and reach with the arms. And we're gently going to hold it up there and gently pulse the hands up and down as we look directly through the knees and breathe. And for that added extra challenge, if you're feeling really up for it today, then add that double leg lift. If you've been here before, if you're familiar with it, go for it. And breathe. Try and relax the neck, try and relax the shoulders. If it's too much at any point, just relax the head and neck down, reset, and come back up again and join us if you want to. Draw those ribs towards those hips. Those abdominals are holding you up there. Breathe through. Last five, four, three, two, one. If you're in the double deck, leg lift, hold the arms and head and shoulders up as you lower the legs first. And then lower the head and the shoulders down. Gently draw the knees into the chest, give them a good hug, relax the shoulders, and know that all the hard work is done. Well done. Good job. Full body stretch, nice and long. Stretch it out. Well done. When you're ready, just gently bring yourself up to seated, and we're going to stretch it out up here. Good effort, everybody. Well done. Let's 
So from here, we're going to move into the mermaid stretch. So we're sitting up nice and tall, the feet are in front. We draw one leg across as if we're going to cross our legs. But we bring the other leg round to the outside if you can. You can do this exercise with legs crossed as well if it suits you better. So front leg straight and the back leg straight away behind you there. Sitting up nice and tall, really important. So sitting on those sitting bones. If you find that you're still very tilted to one side, pop a block underneath you, a rolled up towel. That extra height will release those hip flexors that might be a little bit tight and that will give you the opportunity to sit up nice and tall. Hands relaxed either side of you. So we're all little mermaids now, <laughs> sitting on our rocks and the waves are coming over. So the waves coming up and over, stretch and relax to one side. Keep it nice and tight. That means keep the movement of the exercise directly over the body. Don't roll forward here. Extend and lengthen in the middle. Same onto the other side, stretch and reach over. It will be very much more restricted on one side than the other, that's absolutely fine. And again, extend and lengthen, one on each side. Extend and lengthen, last one here, enjoy that lovely stretch through the hip. Through up those oblique muscles at the side that you worked so hard today. If you can, the knee that's forward, just gently fold forward over that knee, just as far as you're comfortable to do so. Walk the hands back, sitting up nice and tall, and switch sides for me. So extend both of the legs out, then draw one leg directly in front of the body, bring the other leg round to the side, nice and straight behind you. Sitting up nice and tall on those sitting bones, nice and tall. Arms out, and again, stretch and reach directly over. Extend and lengthen in the middle, and stretch and reach. Extend and lengthen, one more on each side. And lengthen, good job. Bring the other leg back round when you're ready and place the feet together in front of you. When they're touching each other, gently use the wrists to uh, the hands to just gently bring the ankles as close as you can to the body, just comfortably. Sitting up nice and tall still, and then just gently place the elbows onto the thighs to open up the legs as far as you can. You might find you need to bring the weight forward. Don't curl down, keep the neck extended, and just lean forward nice and straight, just to allow you to open up those hips as far as you can comfortably. Hold it there. Good job. Gently either cross the legs now or leave them open as long as both sides are parallel to each other. Sitting up nice and tall, let's stretch out the shoulders, the neck and the chest. So stretch and reach with the fingers linked in front of you as far as you can and then allow the head to lower between the arms and really stretch and extend through the back. Reach the hands as far away from you as you can. Then sitting up nice and tall, relax the shoulders, reach and lengthen up above you. And then release the hands and bring them and stretch them out behind you with the fingers linked again. Good job. When you're ready, release and then gently wake the way down to your tummy. And we're going to enjoy that lovely cobra stretch now. So make the body nice and long and then tuck the elbows nice and close, the hands towards the shoulders. Forehead down on the mat, legs extended nice and long. 
breath in, engage. Gently lift the head and the top of the chest and then gently lift the eyes up as much as you can, just to feel that lovely stretch through the lumbar spine. Make sure those shoulder blades are pushing down back towards those jeans pockets. Stretch. Hold for a moment, deep breath in the nose, out through the mouth. And then lower the head to one side, bring the hands underneath to make a little cushion. Last stretch here, we're gonna bring the foot directly up, don't bring it round to the side. Directly up to the bottom and squeeze and hold it there. If you can, if you want to, you can reach round for your leggings, and pull it a little bit closer or your ankle or your toes and just draw it a little bit closer to the bottom. Whichever way you're doing it, push the hips down into the mat to increase the stretch further. And release and extend. And the other side, draw the leg up and if you want to reach round and draw it closer, you can. Push those hips down towards the mat and then release. And then find yourself a nice, comfortable position, either here on your tummy or on your side if you prefer. Take a moment to close your eyes just for a minute. Feel all those muscles you've worked melting down into the mat. And take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth as we take a minute to totally relax. When you're ready, take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth and gently make your way onto your side. Deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Gently make your way onto all fours when you're ready. Making sure the knees and the feet are at hip distance before you tuck the toes under. Walk the hands back and slowly roll up the way we came down. Take the shoulders back and down, lengthen the neck up and away. Arm circles to finish. Take a deep breath in as we circle up through the centre of the body and out as we circle round. And again, deep breath in, stretch and reach up onto your toes if you want to. Send. And circle, last one here, up, reach, bring the hands round to the prayer this time. Give yourselves a big clap, well done everybody. Good job, really good effort, well done.